One of the best benefits of LinkedIn ads is that you can use the platform to target specific companies. Unlike other channels, you get to decide who you want your customers to be, and then you can craft your campaigns and target audiences to speak directly to those companies by themselves and nobody else. So in this video, I wanna go through the two different ways that you can target specific company lists on LinkedIn, and then talk about which scenario might be best to use each tactic. I'm gonna start off showing you probably the easiest way to add individual companies to a campaign. So we're in the placeholder account for LinkedIn ads. As you can see, the account is on hold because we don't ever run any campaigns from here. But I'm gonna start by creating a new campaign. I'm gonna click next and choose an objective. And to add individual companies, we need to come down into the audiences targeting. The platform will always default you to use audiences, but for company targeting, we need to use attributes. We then choose company. And then toward the bottom of this list, you'll see company names show up. Unlike a number of other targeting options on LinkedIn, company names are effectively just a search box. You start off typing in the names of the companies that you wanna target, and then LinkedIn will show you a list of available targeting options. You can see there are some company names to get you started. Google, Apple, Microsoft, Coca-Cola, Walt Disney. More than likely, you're probably not wanting to target those five companies or only those companies. So to get started, we're just gonna start typing something in. An example I use a lot in our videos is, let's say that we're selling running shoes. So maybe we wanna target Nike and a number of other companies similar to that. We can start off just by typing in Nike, and you can see that more than one company showed up. There's Nike at the top, which is retail with 10,000 employees, but then there's also Nike Communications, likely not going to be the same thing considering that the logo is different, but there's also people for the Nike store, Nike Group, Nike Australia. A lot of different options for Nike are popping up here. So in a lot of ways, this search box can be really beneficial if you're trying to come up with a number of different companies that share the same name or maybe a number of different departments within the same company, or if you're trying to pinpoint the company's name exactly. Maybe you don't know what their name is or how they're listed on LinkedIn. This can be a really good way to help you do that. So since I found the company I want, I'm just gonna check the box next to Nike. And then one of the benefits of typing in individual company names is that LinkedIn will then suggest additional companies to you over here on the right in the exact same way they would for job titles or other types of targeting on the platform. So in this example, we're trying to target running shoes. So we might look at this list over here, Starbucks, not really known for their running shoes, but Under Armour and Adidas are. So I could click on Under Armour and then Adidas, and maybe there's some other companies in here that we might wanna use. Nope, not really. But now we've expanded our list to include three additional companies that I might've come up with. I probably would have come up with. Under Armour and Adidas are very popular brands. But if you end up building out a large list of company names, LinkedIn can help suggest additional brands for you to target that you may or may not have thought about targeting in the first place. In my mind, Typing in individual companies in this search box is the most simple way to add companies to your campaigns, but depending on how many companies you're looking to target, this could be really cumbersome. In this example, we've only targeted three companies so far, and it wasn't too bad, but let's say you have 100 companies, 1,000, maybe 10,000 companies. This is going to take way too long to set up individual campaigns by typing in the names individually and searching for them manually. So that brings us to the second type of company targeting on LinkedIn. Rather than searching and checking the box next to company names manually, we can create audiences of company names. In the left-hand navigation in the LinkedIn account, you would go under plan and we're gonna to go to audiences. As you can see in the placeholder account, we don't have many audiences yet, but to create a company upload list, we just need to go to create audience and then we're going to choose from the upload list category, company slash contact. Just like all other audiences, you can give your audience a name, but the biggest thing we need to do right now is we need to change it from a contact list type to a company list. You'll see that the formatting down below changed just a little bit. And now there's a link to download the company list template. If I download that and open it up, this is what it looks like. If you've ever uploaded a contact list, this company list should feel pretty similar, just with a few differences. Rather than adding in a user's name, email address, phone number, you're adding in information about the company itself. You can see here in row one, we have all of the different identifiers that you can utilize for LinkedIn. You can use company name, company website, company email domain, LinkedIn company page URL, the stock symbol, if they have one, their industry, the city, state, company country, and the zip code. 
Now to upload a company list to LinkedIn, you don't have to have the information for every one of these columns, but just like any other upload list, whether it's company or contact, the more information you have, the better chance you have of matching to the exact company that you're trying to target. If you have only a company name and an industry, and you don't have any other information, you might end up with a number of different companies that are similar, but not the exact one you're trying to target. Remember the Nike list that we typed in earlier? There were a handful of different Nike companies that were not the Nike sports apparel company we were looking for. And if we didn't help narrow down the targeting options there by filling in more of these columns, we likely could have been targeting that PR company and some of the other options that weren't what we were looking for when we were trying to target running shoe companies. So if you have the time and the ability to put together a company upload list with all of this information, this is going to be a better way to target a large list of companies. One question I get is how many companies can we target? If you look at this supporting paragraph down here, the file upload size needs to be 20 megabytes or smaller. And LinkedIn does suggest that for the best match results, you should include the LinkedIn page URL. You need to have at least one field in each row and you can upload between 10,000 and 300,000 companies. They all just need to include at least company name, company website, company email domain, LinkedIn page URL, or the stock symbol. Now I don't have a live example of an audience that I'm going to upload here, but I do want to show you in an existing client account what it looks like when you upload your lists. Here you can see we have a large number of company lists uploaded in this account. And once they have completely processed, you'll see that there are columns for match rate, who owns them, the last audience count, and when they were modified. So as you can tell, based on some of these audience sizes that have 6 million members in them, 420,000 members, all this stuff, these probably have quite a number of companies in it to make up this large of a list. So it was a little bit easier to put together one file that has a 60% match rate or an 80% match rate, or some of them even over 90% than it was to go manually type in all of the different company names to come up with this same 1 million members list. Now I showed you where to type in individual company names while building a campaign. Adding a company list is very simple when you're creating your campaigns. So let's hop into an example. I already have a website conversions campaign set up. So we'll come down to the audience targeting section that we looked at earlier. Rather than using the audience attributes to get company name, we wanna stick with companies and we're going to go to list upload and then company list. And then we just have to choose the checkbox next to the company lists that we want to target for our campaigns. The only last piece I would suggest, and I probably should have mentioned this during the individual company targeting piece as well. If you're trying to target individual companies on LinkedIn, you probably want to uncheck the enable audience expansion option, because if you're going after individual companies and you've taken the time to put together these lists, you don't want LinkedIn going rogue and finding companies outside of those lists to target simply because you forgot to uncheck a box. Whether it's company list targeting or individual company targeting, you would set up the rest of your campaign exactly the same and then launch it to target those individual companies. So based on this overview, the last thing I wanna talk about is deciding which setup is gonna be right for you. I would suggest using manual entry or targeting companies individually if you have only a small number of companies. It might take you less time to type in individual names and check a box than it would to put together the information in a spreadsheet, upload it, wait for LinkedIn to match to those companies, which can sometimes take up to 72 hours or three days because it's a little bit of a faster turnaround if you only have a small number of companies. And small to me is anything that will take you 30 minutes or less. At that point, it just depends on how fast you can type. Additionally, if you have a starting set of companies, but you want help expanding into similar companies, like I showed you with Under Armour and Adidas, in addition to Nike, manual entry is a good way to go. So if you're looking for new companies, start typing in the names of the companies you know you want, and then look at the suggested lists that come up on the right-hand side in the audience builder. Now, on the other hand, if you have a really large list of companies, things that would take you over 30 minutes, over 45 minutes to type in manually, you're probably best off putting all of those companies into an individual spreadsheet, uploading them ahead of time, and letting the list process through LinkedIn. Additionally, if you have somebody on your team who can do the research ahead of time for a large company list, whether that's finding the attributes for you to fill out all the columns or doing the work to find those new companies for you ahead of time, rather than utilizing LinkedIn's suggested tool, it's probably best to use a list upload instead. In my experience, there's no difference in the accuracy in a manual entry versus a list upload. 
Both of them are highly accurate compared to the companies that you're trying to target, but only if you've done your research and filled out most of the columns on the company list upload ahead of time. If you're only left with a couple of columns, maybe the name and the website URL, LinkedIn doesn't do as good of a job matching things up exactly to the companies you're looking for. So again, if you don't have the ability to research the list and fill out a lot of those different attributes ahead of time, manual entry might be the better way to go just to make sure that the company list you're trying to target is more accurate. The good news is there's no right or wrong way to target companies on LinkedIn. And this is still the only platform where we can target people with confidence based on the company that they work for. So if you already have a list of companies in mind that you want to become customers and you want to utilize an account-based marketing type strategy, LinkedIn is probably one of the best platforms you can reach into and either manual entry or list upload will be a great option for you. Just like anything else, if I didn't answer a question you had about targeting individual companies on LinkedIn, or if you have any other questions about LinkedIn advertising, feel free to leave us a note in the comments below. Thanks for watching our video. We really appreciate it. If you liked it, give us a thumbs up below. If you really liked it, maybe think about subscribing to the Paid Media Pros YouTube channel and you'll get alerted every time a new video drops. If you really, really liked it, you can help support the channel by checking out some of the t-shirts that we're wearing on our merch shelf, as well as looking at the Super Thanks button.